Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're climbing up to around 1450. Currently we're at 1414 rating in Rapid. So we're gonna hop into a game. I actually learned an opening. It's called King's Indian opening from the wrong. So I'm going to play that. And as you can see, we've improved in rating a lot so currently now we're sitting at 14 14 from around 1300 last week so yeah i've been playing a lot and especially with this opening and it's been working so we're going to continue So we can castle. This is the King's Indian setup, if I'm not wrong. Just let me know in the comments if I'm wrong, because I probably am. I'm going to play that so I can bring up my bishop and then move my knight to d2. Okay, yeah, let's, let's just do that. Okay. We're going to play that. Moving our knight to there ensures we can attack that e4 and c4 line uh, as well as defend that knight on f3. What we can do here is actually just take he takes with his bishop so we can move this pawn in front. Now I think I can play that. I can play e4. And 1371, that's, that might be my lowest rated opponent in quite some time. I've mostly had opponents with a higher rating. Honestly, I think we can just leave it like that for now because we have a pretty good position controlling the center as well and if we push that e pawn further it'll just become a free pawn unless we yeah unless we actually play this and then we can push it properly yeah because both our knights would be defending it Okay, so what I'm thinking now is I can push this pawn. No, wait, um, that wouldn't really work.
Yeah, okay, so I'm going to move this pawn behind and then probably push my F pawn. Then if he takes, I can take with my rook, attacking the bishop. Okay, so now he's attacking my pawn on d3. So before pushing, I think I have to probably play something else. Yeah, I'm going to move my queen here to defend that pawn. So now he can't just take it. And then I can push my f pawn. Okay, so he keeps attacking, and I can't just leave it like that. Firstly, much only one square to go to. I don't know why I thought for so long. Okay, now we can push. Yeah. Now, if he takes, we take with our rook, not our pawn. And he doesn't take. Honestly, not to. Worried about that, I'll just play that. And then probably get my knights towards his king side to attack more. Okay, so we can either move our knight, our d2 knight to c4, or move our c2 knight to e1. Which one is um, better? No, 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 if we move our d2 knight to c4, he'd... Um, take with his bishop, we take with our pawn, and then he'd push his d4 pawn, pinning our knight and queen, so we'll just move this behind, defending that pawn. So we have uh, five minutes left, and our opponent has around five minutes left as well. Ok, 
he um he moves his queen. I'm assuming that's to defend the pawn on e5. I mean, why else would he play that? And yeah, it is so. We're going to push this pawn in front. If he takes, we can take with our rook, and it's a very bad position for him, but I don't think he will take. I think I'll just push it in front, or just leave it like that. Okay, so he moves his bishop. If he wants to exchange, then that's honestly fine. Or he might just move his knight to e3, I mean his bishop to e3, sorry. I don't think that's a big problem though, I'm just gonna take. That's, that's the good thing about the Indian, it's that you basically your king is very, very safe. But right now I need to think about opening my white bishop, white square bishop. Instead of trading off my knight like that, I can just attack that. And if he takes, which he probably will, then I can take with my pawn and open up my bishop. Okay, yeah, he he does that, so I'm just going to move here. Exactly what we thought he'd do. Yeah, our king is literally in the corner and has no room to move, but I don't think that should be a big issue. Take with our queen. just um, move my bishop there. He's probably going to push his pawn now, and I'll just move my pawn as well in front. We're definitely in a very weird position right now. That was a very good move from him. I'm 
actually going to play that. Yeah, so uh, we've lost this game, let's just resign, forget about it. Very, very frustrating game. But now let's move into the next, or next game. Okay, he plays uh, a 4 so we same opening. This time, let's play a bit more sensibly. Don't know what we did that game. Definitely could have done much better though. Very, very disappointed with that game. And now we're playing an opponent who's 14 or 6 rated. I feel like this game we have to be a bit more attacking. Sure, what to play right now? Um, let's just bring out this. Move our knights there. to the original place where the other night was. Wait, can we um first let's um play that to defend that pawn. And he doesn't take, um, so he moves that and he's not attacking any of all pieces. I mean the pawn, but it's pretty protected, so. And 
in fact what I think I'll do is I can take he has to take with his queen I'll attack the bishop I just left my white bishop hanging He doesn't see you, okay. Keep attacking. So if I play that, he has to move his queen. Can I actually trap his queen? I think I actually can. Unless he moves it to the... I might actually be able to trap his queen. So if I play that, he only has one square to go to, or all the way back. Not all the way back, but in front of the king. Or to the, all the way to the right. Okay, yes, there is an accident, never mind, but thing is we open up, we can get that pawn. There's no way he can defend this now, the pawn, the free pawn. I'm not sure if I want to really take it because we're going to give him um, an open valor, which is not very ideal because of the, it's like directly where our king is. I'm just seeing if there's anything else we could do that would be better. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else better than that. Let's just move this behind. Okay, so his king is very open as well. Okay, uh, we, we should probably... Okay, never mind. Um, this will hopefully help us put 
the rest of four pieces. But I should probably push the center. He takes, and that's one reason why I left my knight there, so I could take like that. So there's no way you can check us again. Yeah, he has another free pawn he can take. Can we get that? No, that would be a bit risky. Let's just ask for a uh, exchange, queen exchange. He might just take my b7 pawn. Yeah, okay, he takes it. Okay, um, that's good. We're going to have to be a bit more quicker because we don't have that much time. Also, we've been, um, the video's been going on for around 28 minutes, so I think I'm going to make another video today, though. Okay, I wanted, I really wanted to take to move my bishop to e5, but now it's blocked. Actually, I'm gonna pin that. Yeah. Now he can't take because of the pen. It's a pretty strong diagonal in which our bishop is. It's also the center of the board.
here and then he has to take some take check do I want to exchange um sure yeah um we're running out of time so have to make a decision quickly. He has to take here. Okay, he doesn't take, but that's that's okay. Not gonna take, I'm going to just keep moving in front. Okay, um, 
two back-to-back -back losses. This guy stop. Okay, yeah. Um, frustrating game. Two frustrating games. Can't believe I've gone from winning so many offline. I mean, I had one, two, three, four, five, around eight in a row win. I haven't beat a. Uh, A 1480 rates to person, and now I'm losing to 1380s, and it's, it's not nice at all. I'm going to end the video there. Probably make another video right after this, but I just don't want the video coming too close together, and I'll see you in the next.